Good afternoon friends, welcome back to the channel. Hitchhiking Yeti here once again, and today our adventures have brought us to the border of North Carolina and South Carolina. More specifically, right now we are in South Carolina. This is the first exit, exit 106, right off of Interstate 85. And I got something here I wanna show you before we head to our marquee attraction on this journey today. We're gonna to go check out a cemetery that is within the confines of Interstate 85. In other words, there is a cemetery that sets between the northbound lane and the southbound lane. How bizarre is that? I have to go see this with my own two eyes. So let's go check out this structure right here behind me. So right out here next to the road, this is the old signage of the Casino Castle. This was like a video game poker room. And this was this place must have been a hopping place back in the 90s when video game poker rooms were like really booming and at their high. But in 2000, uh, the South Carolina Supreme Court outlawed gambling and this place uh, shut down, but it's still standing here. A little bit growed up, got some greenery, some growth going on here. Looks like out front they have a metal structure. So it looks like King Arthur sitting there with a sword. Headless King Arthur. <laughs> Somebody took the head off that bad boy. This is really, really cool. So at this time, I'm kind of walking around the left hand side of the building. just to check things out a bit. See if they had a back entrance in for like employees and things like that. It's not a huge building. It's just a really neat looking building. Because you know, it's built like a castle. Very thick vegetation back here on the back side. So I had to walk through a few briars to get back here, but you can see all the very old electrical panels gave this place power a lot of graffiti back here on the back side of this building for sure it's very dark graffiti in here it's like some kind of chandelier they used to have maybe this was a bar area so it looks like I got my camera phone up here trying to lighten things up Kind of give you a bird's eye and then they have some door it's like a sliding door some air-conditioned ducts carpet still in pretty pretty decent shape this would be the doors you would have walked in and right there's the front door like a little lobby area here that is pretty wild and look at that that is pretty cool looking maybe that was like a welcome desk desk area We can just walk on out now. So that was pretty cool. Nice little stop. Got to walk through that old abandoned casino, castle casino. So uh, that being said, let's get back on Interstate 85. I don't think I have too much further to, to drive to uh, make it to uh, Gaffney. 
is uh, supposedly the area where this cemetery that lays with inside the interstate hopefully we'll see it so uh, by all means let's continue on I must say it's quite the busy day here at the interstate but we got a good gap coming we're gonna make a run for it all right friends I have made it to the cemetery I just found it right here in the center of the median between the northbound southbound lane as you can hear the cars on both sides of me here I'm very loud out here but I'm gonna give you a quick run through of the of this cemetery so uh, this is really wild that this cemetery is sitting here there's not a whole lot of information about it but um they're really old i mean we're talking early 1800s old what little bit of info i could find about it um so let's take a look at it come on it's so crazy right here is interstate 85 look how close we are to the interstate and right here is the first I don't know it, it might be a grave there's no headstone on this one but it's just situated stuff of uh, you know those old graves from back in those times a lot of time they would outline the person where they buried them to keep animals away and things of that nature I don't know how much we're going to be able to read of who's buried here here's some more some rock formation and it looks like from what i can tell they're all right here in a line so you can see these headstones it look like sometimes some people had those uh, lights these lights out here right here's another one Let's see you got some trees limbs and stuff but as you can see it's kind of hard to make out Lipscone is the name on the graves if I'm pronouncing that correctly and this is called the Lips Lipscomb Cemetery and believe it or not you can go on Google Maps and this cemetery will actually show up be careful a lot of briars right here is another one I hate walking around graves because you don't want to you know walk on somebody's grave but i'm just trying to walk around the edges the best i can this in here there it is lips comb really can't make out the dates too much um i found a little information online it seems like most of these graves are you know early 1800s mid 1800s and then there was some some more information i found about it where some people claim some of them was even 1700 so they are really old and it looks like it's all pretty much the same family this one right here actually says 1888 june 14th 1888 born 1805 and if i'm reading that correctly maybe that says alley alley lipscomb And we have another one here. I can't really make that one out too much. This one here has a branch that has uh, fell on it. Let's see if we can do something about that. There we go. Move that tree limb off of it there. And that's a whole different name that's not lips gone that says something else maybe s-a-r-r-a-t-t -T, serrat something like that and there's one more i want to try to get to right over here in the brush let's go over there and see if we can make that out so as i am traversing through the briars to get over here to this small grave it's kind of by itself a lot of spider webs too Ooh, look at this dude check this guy out right here so right here is the smaller grave but it has a little writing it's almost like i don't know i don't think it was ever broken and set on its side but 
the writing, if, as you can see, it's kind of up and down, vertical instead of horizontal. It's kind of different. But I don't see anything on this side. So the little bit of writing it had was just on this side over here. But I really can't make it out. Kind of sorry about that. So this is it. The Limps Cone Grave here on Interstate 85. Unbelievable. Well, friends, that will pretty much do it for me today. I just wanted to make this little short video vlog today about this cemetery and kind of bring it up and let people know that it's here. I don't know how many times I have driven on my way to Atlanta, Georgia or Greenville, South Carolina on this very road and never knew this history that laid right here off the side of the interstate. Unbelievable. Well, that being said, I'm all done. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please think about subscribing. Give me a big old thumbs up. Put any comments that you want down below. I love reading them. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time, friends, I'm the Hitchhiking Yeti and I will see you in our next adventure. And by the way, you guys stay safe out there.